What's up? This your girl, Miss Twerk Summon. You are now watching DJ Wake TV. Wake up the fucking DJ, man. Let's go. All right, so we sitting here with the beautiful Miss Twerk Summon in the building. What's up? All right, so how did the whole, like, twerking thing come about? Like, it was like, we just used to go to house parties. It was like six of us. <laughs> and um, we used to go to house parties. We used to twerk, and people started calling us twerk team. This was like 07, 08. Mm -hmm. And then once we became a group, it was like, we put up a video to She Got a Dump. And that shit got over 10 million views when we posted it. The first day, it was over 10 million views, and that was in 08. So mom told us to put up a booking number, and after that, it was it. Booking number and email, and... I've been traveling since I was 16. True, true. So like, what like happened between the twerk team and then you going like solo? Nothing really happened. I can't really say anything happened but life. Like everybody got different paths. Yeah. All of this was already rolled out before we even started living it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like my path was to take care of my family and, and provide yeah. regardless of what I was doing. You know, yeah. I always felt like I was going to own something. I wanted to work at Subway and then own it. You know what I'm saying? I never just been like, I'm going to be a worker. I always had the mentality to be a boss. So that's my whole thing now. So with the group, I feel like they, Betty passed away like a year ago, but she was a boss in her own way too. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all was hustlers. She went to school to do, um, I think she went to school for dentists, to be a dentist assistant. So we all was going to school and shit. So. And Elle, my sister, she just got pregnant yeah. like um, like a year ago and she got the baby. So, I mean, she going to school to be a dentist. So, everything's good. I don't really feel like we broke up or anything. Like, that's still my family. I still rep for us hard as fuck. Like, it's still twerk team. Yeah. I'm just Miss Twerk son. You know what I'm saying? So, you from Atlanta, right? I'm from Illinois. Illinois. But, I mean, I stay in Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta is home. I've been there for 14 years. But, I wouldn't say I'm from Atlanta. Like, but, that's home, though. So like in Atlanta, the strip club is like is like huge, right? The strip it? club is lit. It's ass and titties everywhere. <laughs> I heard a lot of places they don't get naked, but I haven't never saw that before. Cause in Atlanta, it's <coughs> people work hard for their money. Just put it like that. In Atlanta, you working for that shit. Like it's it's ass, titties, vagina. It's everything. Yeah. I never heard of a strip club where they not get naked. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what strip clubs are. Like in Atlanta, that's just a club. Yeah. Like, what are some of the reasons why you decided to just twerk instead of be a stripper? Because it's more like morals. It's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? I can't really say that. I can't say I haven't had those thoughts either. But once I get naked, it's over. Like, when you get naked, it, it, you always got to have a person to have that mystery about you. Like, even when you, even when I'm just talking to a guy, he can be attractive. He can have all the looks. But if his mind don't match it, then it don't matter. So once you give a person everything with the looks, then what comes after that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I got naked, I would lose respect for myself. I wouldn't even care about how everybody else viewed it. They want me to respect myself, but then they'd be like, why haven't you stripped yet? Well, how the fuck is that respecting myself, me getting naked? But then again, I don't disrespect strippers because I see some strippers who come into their job, do their job, and keep it moving. And I see some who make it a bad name, but that's the same thing with girls who twerk or girls who model yeah. doing it for free. It's the same shit. Uh, true. So uh, the world wants to know, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. <laughs> I just got single like, uh, shit, what's the day? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been single since the, um, shit, I had a show, oh yeah, I've been single since the 10th, but like, you gotta understand, my dude is like, my best friend, True. like, even now I'm calling him my dude, he my, he protect me like no other guy, you feel me, so, it ain't no secret with that shit, shout out to Calico Jones, BMF, that's my protector, like, regardless whether we together or not, but I am single shit, I'm 23, I just turned 23, I'm just mature, like, I don't want kids. I might have kids, but I don't want kids now. I don't want that to mess up my my passage of success. I don't want it to mess it up. Not saying that people who have kids, it does mess up what they're doing, but it's not for me right now. I want to continue that. But yeah, I'm single. Now, all the DM pop. Oh, shit. I don't even check my DMs. <laughs> so it ain't even no Snapchat me or pussy. Okay. I mean, it's cool, but I don't check it. Because okay. it's, it's flooded. I don't even want to have it when I do check it sometimes, it's all bad. Either it's dick pics or it's gay bitches and it's like, yeah. I'm not gay and I don't want the dick. Especially if it's dead available. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I like that exclusive shit. So don't Snapchat me that dick or that pussy. That ain't gonna work long term. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Alright, so like out of all the cities you've been to, like what's your like top three cities? 
I don't have one. Because I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't have the top three because everywhere I go is different energy. I meet different people, different faces. Like, the love is so strong that even if ten people come out, and it don't be because of me because I'm going to sell that bitch out. But if ten people come out, it's, it got to be with the promoter. But the love that I get from those ten people is so strong. I don't even give a fuck. I'm going to show out like it's 10,000 people in that bitch. So I respect that shit so much. Like, people fuck with me. And I had to realize who I was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll never forget that I came from fucking twerking at parties. So people knowing, like, we a household name. People know who twerk team is. You know what I'm saying? So... It's not with respect. I don't have no favorite city. I fuck with every city. It's just different love. Now, is it true that you're coming out with your own music now? Yeah, I got a single drop in February the 14th on Valentine's Day, Betty's birthday. So, I got that coming out with the video. So, it's going to be dope. I sing and rap. Okay.